Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad and in this video I'm going to show you how to have a row number in your table visual or any other visualizations you want to have a row number dynamically calculated based on an expression in a list of items how to do that uh, using DAX. Let's see how it works. I have a sample model here which I'm going to explain uh, what uh, we can do for calculating the row number. I have a sales table, internet sales table, reseller sales table and the product table. You can download this file uh, using the link down in the description below uh, from my blog article. I also have a couple of uh, measures. One is the internet sales which is just some of the sales amount from the internet sales another is reseller sales which is calculating some of the sales amount from the reseller sales now uh, in a visualization imagine i have a visualization like this this is a list of all products that i have the product names and the internet sales value let's say we want to have a row number here that shows uh, like uh, on a descending order, the, the product that has the highest uh, internet sales to be ranked one, then the second one, two, three, four, five. How can I do that? Uh, I have written a, a DAX expression using rank X. Rank X is a quite useful function for calculating rank here. You can see that I have passed two parameters. One is all of that product name table and the second one is the expression I want to calculate the ranking based on. If I add this into my table you can see that the rank works perfectly fine and I have the row number one two three four five all the way down. Uh, even if I sort it by the product name it would still show me that product what is the rank of that product based on the internet sales value. So it works perfectly fine, but now the question is that how you can get it working in your implementation because you might have different tables, different uh, relationships and things like that. Let me explain how the rank X works. The first parameter of the rank X should be a table. This is a table in which you are uh, seeing the list of all elements that you want to have an index for, a row number for. Um, now, if you use, for example, product table here then most likely you will get one in each row you might wonder why you get one in each row you may imagine it this way when you say the product table it is a table right but the table within the context of the visualization for example when you look at this specific record for example your table would be only a table for this product so it's basically like one product only Right, And when it is one product, rank of that product within a table for one product, it's always one. And that is why you, return, you get the return value of one for everything. Using all helps in getting the entire list and then ranking based on that. Another question is that like what, why I can't use, let's say, the product English product name because I want to rank it based on this column. The thing is that this... Uh, parameter ask you to provide a table not a column so you can't really provide a column you can however say something like all of the product right this basically means let the entire dim product but if you use that in the current context that doesn't work properly i mean it works properly but uh, it doesn't uh, look properly correct in the current context because the current context is one row per product name and you see the row number like it's not exactly working as it should be the reason is that when you say all dim product in dim product you have like 606 products but if you count the um, unique list of product names this is probably much less than that it might be like 150 60 or something like that if you are using all of the product, then you should be using a field here that is representative of every record in that product, something which is unique, a primary key of that table. If I remove this and I bring, let's say, the product key of that table, 
instead of count, I show the actual product key, then you see that this is working just fine. Same calculation here works fine. Why? Because the product key is at the grain of the product. So if I have an expression here saying that all of the product, this works for that. But if I want this to be working for a specific column for English product name in this example, let me bring that up for English product name, then I can say the product English product name. Right. Uh, using all, make sure that I get the list of all product names here and then rank it based on that. What if I I have like two columns here? What there, what if there's a product name and there's a color? Let me add the color here as well. You see the ranking won't work exactly as we uh, want to. I mean, it is correct ranking because it is ranking based on product name. Like this product uh, number 42 is ranked three, right? Uh, but the thing is that um, you might uh, want to uh, have this row number based on the both columns. In that case, you can say all of this product, English, English product name and color. I have another article and video about how to use all and different variations of using all. And you can see this is working just fine. Um, another question you might ask is that can you only use all? inside this part for the first parameter? No, you can use other functions as well. The main thing is that your functions should return a list of items you want to uh, put an index on. And that should be like a unique list of those items. So that's the first parameter. What about the second parameter? The second parameter is the measure or let's say the expression which you want to uh, get the row number based on that. So here, for example, I want row number based on internet sales, but what if I want the row number based on reseller sales? I'll add reseller sales into the table. You see that if I sort it based on reseller sales, this is not a row number for that because this row number is for internet sales. I can change this to become reseller sales, uh, one extra bracket, two extra actually. And then this shows me the row number based on reseller sales. You can parameterize the rank X and make it even more uh, uh, useful in many other scenarios to be dynamic. But these are the two main parameters of the rank X to calculate a row number. There are other parameters as well. There are three optional parameters, uh, which I won't talk about those in this um, in this uh, video because that would be outside of the topic we are talking about. I'll have another video later on talking about those and how you can get those working. Uh, you can download this file from the uh, article uh, which is linked in the description below. And remember, this method is calculating the row number dynamically. If uh, you want to calculate it like aesthetically, like you want all products to be numbered uh, or ranked based on the sales, regardless of whatever selected here and things like that. In that case, I recommend doing it in Power Query, which I have a blog article and video about that, um, or doing it in a data source because those are pre-calculated. They would perform better in the runtime. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.